You're welcome once again to today's service. This is caregivers class. We are new here. Our caregivers, some people call them nannies, some call them house help, but here in Desta, we call them caregivers. We call them house managers because you are who you call yourself. Thank you for joining us. So today, we'll be talking about a man called Paul. But before we go into that, let's pray. Our Lord and our Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory because you are God. You are awesome. Thank you for the gift of new life. Thank you for the opportunity you've given out to us to be able to hear us ourselves today. Lord, we are grateful. As we go on to this service, we pray you speak to us. You minister to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for always listening to us. Thank you because you are here with us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let's go and dance and praise God. You are the great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great. Situation, you are the joy of the whole world. Oh, ever speaks of your glory and the works of your beauty. If I dance it to me, no, if I shout it to me, no, ever speaks of your glory. If I dance it to be no, if I shout it to be no, say you are the great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situation. You are the joy of the, you are the great, you are the great and mighty God, so great, greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situation. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the, joy of the, you are the great. You are the great and mighty God. Great and mighty God. Great and mighty God. Beautiful for all situations. You are the joy.
much for me I cannot sell it all When you, 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 you completely When you, 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 you completely Hallelujah You could marrow be more He seek and do Hey, what shall we render? you danced and praise God. <laughs> it's always a beautiful thing to worship God, to praise God for his faithfulness. Thank you. So we'll go on to today's service or teaching. Before we do that, I want to recap on what we've been doing this month. We'll be talking about new beginning, talking about how God created the world from nothing. And the following week, we talk about getting better. After God made light, he did not stop there. He made more, he continued to build more and build more and build more. So also you can always build more on whatever you're doing and get better at what you're doing. And today we'll be talking about a man called Paul, Apostle Paul, as a new man. So my focus today is going to be on the fact that you can always have a new beginning irrespective of the kind of the background or of the past or the life you are living now. You can have a new beginning. So I'll take you through the story of Paul. Her Bible passage is taken from the book of Acts, 
chapter 8, chapter 9. You can check chapter 7 too, so you can learn more about Paul. Because of our time, I will not be reading all the chapters. But I'll just go take you through the, the story so that you too can know that no matter how bad you have been, no matter the bad, maybe you have been all bad by yourself. <laughs> or you have been original bad boy or original bad girl. God can change you and you can be new. You can become original good girl. So Paul, some people call him Saul. You know, like I am, you need to do a lot to me. So I believe Paul today was Paul, I mean Saul, Paul, something. He was a, he was a man from Tarsus. In the, the new Turkey that we have now, that was where he was from. So the name Saul was a Jewish name. Why Paul was his Latin name. Paul from the Bible that we've read, that the Bible says he was well read, he read the scripture, he read law. So you can call him a lawyer. You know, sometimes lawyers always, oh, they are learned. So Paul was learned. What was Paul doing? He said, we said, talented, he was well read. So when the Christian comes up, I mean, the Christianity started, and you see the life of Peter and everybody preaching and talking about Jesus. Paul was at the forefront of the people that were persecuting the church. In fact, the Bible says when he was young and the people were killing, they wanted to stone Stephen. Stephen was one of the disciples of Jesus Christ. They were removing their clothes. Maybe he was too young to carry stone. I don't know. The Bible didn't tell us that. But the Bible recorded that. They were dropping their clothes. Yeah, the monitoring these clothes. All the clothes for us. He was sharing them. Sharing them. Kill the, kill the people. He did not even, so when he's grown, or he has grown and he has continued in his, in, his, in his journey as a lawyer or as a, as a pastor, even as he grows up, he continued in the journey of persecuting Christians. The Bible says that he would even go into the house of believers, fish them out. It's not as if they're on the streets pitching or something. That, okay, I know one Christian is living here. I know one, both women and men. They were arresting them, persecuting them, beating them because they are Christians. At the time, Paul set out to go to Damascus. Do you know what he wanted to go and do there? He wanted to go and look for the Christians. That I will go there and pack them to Jerusalem so that we can punish them. <laughs> On his way to Damascus. Let's see what happened. So join me in the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 3. So that you will not see that, uh, is this story that this lady is talking about is from the Bible. He said, he traveled towards Damascus. I'm reading from the easy version so that I can break the English down very well for all of us to understand. He traveled towards Damascus. He was very near the city when a bright light suddenly appeared. The light came from the sky and it shone all around him. You know, he has never seen such a thing before. And he said, the Bible says, Saul fell down on the ground. He heard a voice which said to him, Saul, Saul, why do you fight against me? And Saul asked, Lord, who are you? He said, I am Jesus. And you are fighting against me. Now I say to you, get up and go into the city. Someone there will tell you what you must do. You know that sometimes... We are committed to doing something because we believe that that is the right thing. Because our faith, you know, we said Paul studied scripture, he studied the law, so he believed in that traditional belief, the Jews, the religion, that this is the right thing. And the people that are Christian, they, maybe they are just extremists. They want to destroy the faith, the religion, they have heart. And he thought he was doing the right thing. He kept on persecuting the church until he was arrested by God. And he asked, who, who are you? He said, I mean, I'm the one, I'm Jesus that you have been persecuting. You know, some of you have been doing some things. Maybe you think that's the best you know. You don't know it, it, it was not right. Some of you will cheat that, okay, because I'm, che I'm stealing because my parent does not have money. We've had instances that an house girl will say that, oh, my mommy said, when you get to where you are going, people used to steal. You too, steal their thing. You're just going to stay one year. 
and you have been doing it. Maybe because he didn't know better. Paul was doing this thing because he didn't know better. He thought he was on the right path. But God arrested him. He went to where God, Jesus asked him to go. And he was there. In fact, at that place, he couldn't see again. He lost his sight. And he went to meet the disciple. They prayed for him. They discipled him. And guess what? It changed. The religion was for the Jews. But he said, no, this is good news. I must tell the Gentiles, the Greek, everybody must know about this Jesus. The same zeal he had when he was persecuting the church, he now carried it into the new religion he had gotten and started preaching. In fact, it, that was when he started bearing the name Paul so that the other people can relate. You look like, like I've given you an example before. I'm Eunice. I'm Tolu. I'm Olatunji. When I want to relate with my Yoruba friends, I use Tolu so that they can relate to where that we are we we. So Paul also changed his name from Saul to Paul so that the Greek can relate well with him and he was using the seal to worship God, to preach about the gospel. In fact, the numbers of books he has written, I think he, he, he wrote more than other disciples. He became a great leader for the Lord. What have you been doing that you think was the right thing, but now you know better? Any act that you are doing and is hurting somebody else is not the right way. Our God is God of love. In fact, he is love. And if you want to please God, you must love. You cannot be hurting your madam. You cannot be sleeping with your madam husband and you think it's the right thing. It is not the right thing. Maybe because he didn't know better. Maybe because the guy has been harassing you or something has been making you, propelling you to do it. You can change. Oh, you are thinking that, oh, I've been so bad all by myself. My sin is so much. God cannot save me. No. Paul did more. He participated in killing Christians and still God used him. God saved him and gave him another opportunity. God is calling you today. Is giving you an opportunity to start afresh. You can also start afresh. You can have a new beginning, just like Paul did. If you're here listening to me and you don't know how to go about it, it's just a simple prayer of salvation. And lo and behold, you are a child of God. Please, if you want to make a new decision, if you want to start all over, can you bow down your head and let's pray? Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I've been bad all by myself. Please, Lord, forgive me. I want to have a new life. I know you died for my sin. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You're saved. Congratulations. For you to grow in Christ, for you to be able to know the right thing to do, you must be able to, you must be reading your Bible. You must know the Bible. So that will take us to our memory verse for today. So our memory verse is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. And it says, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. So you've become a new being once you've given your life to Christ. Maybe you are wondering, how do I even grow when I cannot read? Don't worry. We have you covered. So that will be taking us to our phonic session. So you'll be able to learn how to read. You are not too old to learn. You are not too old to learn. You can start now. And that's what we're talking about. New beginning. Please stay put and follow up with our phonics class. Thank you. Hello friends, today is another day. We're going, we've been learning about phonics. Now today we're going to learn about, we're going to learn more about phonics. Before that, we're going to go back to our previous class, learn more about sound before we go to today's topic. Before that, we learned the R to Z. It's the normal sounds that we go through to help us to understand our alphabet sound. Then let's go back to the previous class, 
let's learn one or two things. In case you're just joining us for the first time, we just start a class. It's an opportunity for you to do a makeup class. Now let us go. It sounds A, B sounds B, and C sounds K, D sounds D, and E sounds E, F sounds F, G sounds G, and H sounds High sounds E and J sounds J, K sounds K, and L sounds L, and M sounds N, letter N sounds N, and letter O sounds O, and P sounds P, Q sounds Q, and R sounds R, S sounds T sounds T, and U sounds H, V sounds V, and W sounds W, X sounds, and Y sounds Y, and Z sounds Z. Now we relate it with object, why we say, A as in apple, B as in ball, K as in cup, D as in dog, E as in egg, F as in fish, G as in gun, J G as in gun, H as in hat, E as in ink, J as in jog, K as in key, L as in leg, or you can say lamp, M as in mat, N as in nose, O as in orange, P as in pot, Q as in quit, L -qu as in quit, R as in run, T as in sun, T as in table, O as in umbrella, V as in vulture, W as in watch, T as in ex loving Y as in yam, and Z as in zebra. Now, that's the recap of our previous class. Now we're doing today's topic. We are looking at the vowel sounds. I want everybody to echo the word vowel. Again, vowel sounds. Now, today we're going to introduce the five vowel sounds. The five vowel sounds. What did I just say? five vowel sounds now we're going to introduce the word before i do that let's sing a song that goes together with the vowel sounds something to get you remember the song says i have five vowels i have five vowels a e e o o a e e o o i have five vowels I have five vowels. I have five vowels. A, E, E, O, O. A, E, E, O, O. I have five vowels. These are the five vowels sounds. The first one say ha. The five vowels, say, the first vowel says a, a, as in apple. A, as in apple. I want everybody to pronounce the word ah. Remember we said ah is written this way, a curve and a stroke. A curve and a stroke. Ah as in apple. Now let's go to the second vowel sound. The second vowel sound says eh, 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 eh. How do we put L down? We said a cough and a dash inside. If you don't want to write it that way, you can say a dash and a cough. A dash and a cough. That is the L sounds. And air as in egg. Air as in egg. Or you can say air as in elephant. Air as in elephant. Now let's go to the Third vowel sounds, which says 
E. E. Someone said, how can I put my E down? Then you just make a stroke and a dot. A stroke and a dot. That is the E sound. Then E as in igloo. E as in ink. Better still, you can still say E as in ice cream. Because E sounds is a trickish word. E sound is a trickish word. Now, we're going to say to ourselves, E sounds as in ink. Or E sounds as in igloo. Now, that is about E sounds. Now, let's go to the O sound. O as in orange. O as in orange. Someone said, how can I put my O sound down? Then you said, make a circle. A circle. A circle gives you O sound. And we say O as in orange. And the last vowel sound is O. The last vowel sound is O sound. That's where you get the word O. And someone said, how can I put it down? You make a stroke, a curve down, and a stroke up. A, a stroke down and a curve going up. That is how to get your O sound. Now, someone said, what does O sound go with? You said, O oh, as in umbrella. Umbrella. As in under under and unicorn is also a trickish word that is the five well sounds we're going to learn today i hope you all understand but before i leave here we're going to go back learn the five vowel sounds all over again while we sing our songs with it i have five vowels i have five vowels a e i o o, a e i o o. I have five vowels. I have five vowels. A e i o o, a e i o o. Have a nice day, everyone.